Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello. I'm kicking the episode off. <laughs> See it? He just kicked it way off over there. Yep. I'm kicking it. Well, while he goes and gets it, I'm going to thank all of our wonderful patrons because oh, we fired it, it, Max. Wait. wait. <laughs> should should we say that this is microphones and morons September 2022? You just before did. we do anything else. Yeah, good good job. You just I covered. did it. <laughs> I'm accomplished. Yeah, uh so we fired Max. Uh he'll no longer he I don't He was know. stupid and he added nothing to the show. <laughs> he, he, so. will, he will no longer be doing the the Patreon readings for the September 2022 episode of Morons. Yes. yes. We forbade him to participate and sent him to the mountains. <laughs> He's all the way to the in, mountains. He is in exile currently. <laughs> He's probably enjoying it. He's yeah. <laughs> he probably is. Oh. Uh, Adam, why don't you uh, why don't you read the patron name since we got rid of Max? Uh, yeah, I think I said thank, I was. Thank do our that. patrons. You yeah. did, but I'm. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing charge. that we were gonna do. We, we don't have Max's energy this this time, mm-hmm. uh, so it's just me and the two guys that like mumble quietly. Yeah, <laughs> so, mumble, 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 mumble. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm. I'm thank you. Go ahead. Carry us hard. We got now. If you if you don't already know. And you haven't listened to any of the morons previously. Uh, our patrons help us make more content. Uh, we're able to to buy things like like uh, uh, what are those Beach things? Ball. Cover arts for our podcast and, and <laughs> yeah, artwork those for the podcast and and advertising and and all sorts of stuff. So uh, every we really appreciate everybody that that supports what we do. And I do want to thank everybody. We got Papa Nurgle. That's Max. Um, <laughs> Jeez, way to dox him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Papa Nurgle. Uh, I got a dog going crazy behind me. Uh, Riley White. That wasn't a name, by the way. <laughs> Riley White is. Uh, Kyle Much. Lamb Sauce. Michael Cross. Garrett. James Ingram. Chunky and Funky. Sarah C. Nari Kwok. Nick Mead. And Jeff, oh Jeffrey Lee and Patrick T. Well, how how is it supposed to be said? We were corrected. I got. Uh, I don't remember so, the correction. So, so it was uh, Arsenault. Oh, Patrick T. Arsenault. I could swear he confirmed it had the hard T at the end. I don't think he corrected us. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, no, but, I don't think he corrected. I think he confirmed that that it had the hard T, like the opposite oh, really? of what Arsenault. J.K. Rowling did with Voldemort. Oh, Voldemort. Like, like, oh, oh, they, they, they made like eight movies, and now I want to say Voldemort. You can't do Voldemort. that. Voldemort. You have to correct people when they're making the first movie, and then people know how it's pronounced. <laughs> well, Did they change Arsenault the way they said it or in the No, e- either the way. movie stayed consistent. Just oh, later okay. on, okay. later on, Lady was like, oh, it's Voldemort. And everyone was like, no, it's not. No. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's Arsenault and Arsenal for our Quebecois friends. Yeah. There we go. That makes sense. But yes, thank y'all so much. Uh, if you do want to support us, head on over to our Patreon channel. You can go to our website, creativetypo.com. Every link is there. So made it easy for you. It's super cool. <laughs> and now... This is why we fired Adam the last like two or three morons <laughs> episodes. Without further ado, I last... guess we should do our summaries of what yes. happened <laughs> yes. in the episodes now we will discuss for the month. The... The events of the month in the podcast. Mm. It, it wasn't yeah. a whole month in the yes, podcast. That, it was probably is... like a day and a half in the podcast, like 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 yeah. three days of events or something. So, that, like that. so that's where we are in this episode of Morons right now. Yes, yeah. there we go. Previously in this episode of Morons, <laughs> we introduced ourselves in the in, in the podcast. We didn't really introduce ourselves. I'm Stephen, and oh, the that's deep a good voice spot for a I, You know, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I call the ad breaks. Um, oh, okay, and then, okay. yeah, um, I forgot. and then, and then we read the patron. So now, uh, we're going to, you know, talk about the, the happenings of this season after this break. You're going to make me cut that out. <laughs> and welcome back. I mean, you don't have to cut it out if you, <laughs> you can always leave it in. Oh no, no I, I got a perfect break for it now. Um, and see now, got, now if you, yeah. if you do cut it out, it's going to sound really weird what I'm saying now. Yeah. All right. So 
episode 206 when the gaze takes hold part seven is where we pick up in september yay yeah so we had just gotten into uh the room that yam no guided us to like through the hallway up the elevator we we finally decided to go through the vents to get to the room that yam no wanted us to go to (laughs) he wanted you to go that way the whole time (laughs) <laughs> and then we then we immediately started a discussion on whether we should go back in the vents or go in the hallway. <laughs> once I mean, because more. convincing us to go into the vents once. Mm, I mean, that's yeah. one thing, but a second time, hmm. Yeah. And then and then he was like, Oh, and, and by the way, obviously the vents are quirrels, and so you know, you might die if you go in the vent because quirrels will just cut you <laughs> off and murder you. Yeah. And man. we're all like, What? <laughs> What, it's what? a risk worth taking. And and <laughs> Alistair had just had enough of all of this at this point and was just consigned to the vents. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, whatever, I'm going in the vents, y'all figure it out. <laughs> yes. Oh, I I loved in this episode me interrupting, or me, like, talking as Yamino being like, hey, they're <laughs> right over there. And he's like, shut, <laughs> shut up. Max, Max, <laughs> Max oh, yeah. was like, shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, it, well, I, I, I was like, no, yeah, no, be quiet, you know, because yeah. you were in my backpack. You were whispering to me. Yeah, but both of y'all were saying like, no, yeah, we were both doing up. it, but Julian was a little bit more forceful. Yeah. Victor was just like, you know, was like, no, yeah, no, be, be quiet, you know, over there, because it's my stealth roll. Yeah, <laughs> don't ruin You're ruining my stealth, stealth roll. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all got Alistair went on. through the vent. Yeah, Alistair went through the vent and got to the room with the uh with the with the box with magic, you know, <laughs> Chekhov's gun or I don't know. Uh and um, yes. <laughs> the red herring. I no, that wasn't red herring. Um <laughs> what's the thingy what's the lyric what what's what's the device that makes the story go on? Is that the Chekhov's oh, gun? Oh, the MacGuffin. The MacGuffin, there we the go. MacGuffin. We got to the room with the MacGuffin. Um or <laughs> Alistair did, and we had to like sneak through the hallways. And ow, hit my arm. Because Julian and, had the um, key. <laughs> yeah, Julian had the key. Yes. Um, and then, and then, and then we, we're 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 all set to go in this room. You know, like we we were able to you know force the door open. It was it was kind of stuck, and so I pulled out my cooking spot and made cooking oil to lubricate <laughs> it. Grease it up. <laughs> I mean, why Adam not? Didn't right? Question me, you know. So I just no. went ahead and did it. You know. And 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 that worked swimmingly. And then you know, I walk. Victor walks right in the room, and yet with Yamnel's right there in his backpack. And then and then uh, Adam's like, "By the way, by the way, Max, there's something behind Julian. Did you want to look at it?" And he's like, "No, I don't want." To. He's like, "Are you sure it was loud?" And you know, and he was like, "Okay, fine." I walk as I'm looking back. I'm walking forward. He's like, "No, the door's gone." <laughs> <laughs> Like I, 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 rem- I, I remember sitting there thinking, "Don't look, don't look, Max. don't look, don't look." It's like that is such a trap. <laughs> Max fell for it, hmm. and so then Julian was stuck in the hallway, and mm-hmm. you know, I, Victor tried to shove his sword into the wall, and it didn't work. Honestly, if he wouldn't have turned around, I wouldn't have trapped him. I know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because I mean, that would have been just mean to just trap him with no cause. Yeah. But he looked. Yeah, but then we got a whole other episode out of it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> to, episode 207, like half of it wouldn't exist <laughs> without <laughs> without him turning around. <laughs> because if he had just walked in, I'm sure you would have just had things emerge from the floor and start fighting us then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if y'all were if y'all were set up to fight and there was a threat to getting to the box, yeah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so there was no threat to get into the box until we were all set to go to the box, and so the key the key was with Julian, so Julian was cut off, so there was no reason to cause a problem in the room. Yeah, unless and so while y'all had... were split up, you did try to go for the box, and yeah, it, you would have been in a fight there, and they would have been he would have been in the hallway trying to get in the closet. Well, it's a good <laughs> thing we didn't go for the box before we <laughs> dealt with Julian. Mm-hmm. So Julian went and hid in the closet. Well, I mean, he like didn't hide. supply closet. <laughs> well, he did hide. He was literally hiding. He, he but... was hiding. Yes. Hmm. It was. It was more of a strategic hide. It wasn't a <laughs> cowardly hide. Yeah. It was. It was just your normal kind of hiding. Yes. And and he there was there was more talk about getting the key to Alistair so that Alistair could put it in the box. 
you know? And so Alistair went through the vent. There was a vent from the room to the closet. You can't see my arm. Um, <laughs> my arm went up and then it turned at a right angle twice, just so you can visualize. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> like think, think of the, uh, the guy from uh, Monty Python. Uh, I think it was meaning of life. Which one? The, the fish, the fish, the fishio. The, the like weird, like long double elbowed arms craziness. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was meaning of life. It's hard to tell because meaning of life was just a bunch of skits. It's so true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it, we, it, Alistair went and he got the key from Julian in the closet. And then, and then Julian was climbing up in there after he made an image of himself. Like he locked the door with magic and then he made <laughs> a picture of himself on the wall. I'm assuming he thought maybe that would, the undead would be too stupid to know that it was a picture. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was I, basically I, trying to use Acme rules here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then the undead ran into the wall and fell over. <laughs> it made a bong sound. Um, I don't know an accordion so Julian... sound because they ran into it really fast. <laughs> beep, oh, okay, okay, beep, that makes sense. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> there we go. That's what we needed. Um, <laughs> we needed that sound from Richard. <laughs> That's it. I'll, 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 I'll clip that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That'll just be the it's background sweet. music for an encounter later on in another show. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna that make that terrifying. A, a... We're gonna make that a um a a, a ringtone available to patrons. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> people still do ringtones, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I haven't been outside. Um, but uh, yeah. So Julian climbs up into the vent, and then they're making their way back to the room. Except now there's no vent to the room, and now they're just stuck in a vent. Yep. Um, there's just a so, vent with no end. So yes. Alistair immediately just teleports out of the vent. He's like, bye. Uh, yeah, um, bye. <laughs> I hope you don't suffocate. Sucks to suck. Yeah, because Julian got out of his suit to get in the vent, too. And... <laughs> yeah. No, no. He, 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 oh, he had I, already I, been I feel... out of the suit. Yeah, he'd he'd already been out of he was suit. out of the yeah. suit the whole time. Yeah. 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 He was scared to put the suit back on when we went in the hallway because we knew that humming could yeah. deactivate magic stuff and his suit yeah. is magic, and so right. he could just be stuck there he, he didn't um, want to end up in one of those like iron man and i think uh punisher kills the marvel universe maybe like yeah that that would have been bad yeah <laughs> stuck in a suit and starving and just dies like because he couldn't Ugh. be freed Jeez, lovely yeah just <laughs> just some some primo stuff there imagine how bad the inside of that suit smells oh yeah yeah so so then um you know, Alistair starts to go. It's like, all right, well, we'll just activate this box. And then all of a sudden, undead people rise up from the floor. Meanwhile, Victor's just standing there wondering what in the world is going on with everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then the wow. way the initiative rolls worked out, Julian went first and he blew a literally, hole. He blew a <sighs> hole in, in the ceiling of the room with like some, <laughs> what, what is the spell? Shatter? Yeah, shatter. Yeah, shatter. And, and he blew a well, hole. He got a, he got a nat 20, didn't he? He got a nat yeah, twenty, so, yeah. and then like, well, uh, well, and I think in your role was like a one. Yeah, like there was some sort of constitution role you had to do first or something for. Yeah, I guess Quirrell's or the wall, or he is the wall, like or something. So, so, yeah. so is that is low, that like an ulcer sure. to like Quirrell's or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. Hmm. But um, but yeah, he blew a hole in the ceiling. And then, and then, like, jumped down and was, like, super cool and ready for action. And then Alistair was like, nope. And he just sticks the key <laughs> in the box and turns it. Yep. <laughs> and just immediately ends the fight on the second turn. I mean, yeah. oh, I mean no, no, hey. first, first, first the, one of the undead hummed, and it took a spell slot away from Julian. From and Julian, then yeah. Alistair was yeah. turned the silver but didn't key. did he, like, I blast mean, him, too? Or did he just blast and then go? Or did he just go? I don't. Remember you mean, uh, Julian with the part shatter? Of the episode? No, with the key in the box. Did you just oh, no, go for no, it? just right away. Yeah, I mean, it pretty right much away. went along the lines of like, so I've got a key, right? Mm -hmm. And that <laughs> thing has a keyhole, and mm -hmm. it's within range for me to stretch my tail, which is currently holding the key, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the Hitchhiker's Guide. I reject walk your fight. Hard. 
<laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah. Was it walk hard? Yeah, walk hard. It was yeah. walk hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 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 we, we you you were like, oh, everything's changing around you. You're experiencing everything at the same time, and I was like, you know, <laughs> I need more towels. Yeah, <laughs> and then I think you continued it. Yeah, or I need, I, yeah, or blankets. You know, and you're like, oh no, there too few. You know, there's too yeah. many and too few blankets mm-hmm. or something too like that. Too many and too few blankets. Yeah, you were you were, yeah you were experiencing things and and. <laughs> you were smelling everything and not smelling anything. You were smell blind, like we th- that got thrown in there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you were each other. It's it's a very interesting combination of referencing going on at the same time. It really is. <laughs> it's the the improbability drive and yeah. <laughs> he needs more blankets. He needs more blankets. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <sighs> but really fun then, times. Yeah. And then uh it was up to Alistair where we went and what does Alistair want to do and where does he want to go? I, I mean I mean it's like I said at the time, there's really only one answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And apparently no one told Alistair you can't go home again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it's like, ah, shows what you know. <laughs> and 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 we went home again. Yeah. To the <laughs> we past. Went back. Except, except for Julian. Past. He went to a place he'd never been before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, at that time, yeah. Well, no, he went to a place that he used to live in but had not been to yet. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense. Well, he'd never been there before the point we went anyway. Right. Hmm. Hmm. And then we're we're we were in the past, and and like Sarah was like, "All right, well now that we're here, you have to go down and talk to past me." Yeah. <laughs> Although I, I I think I think the one thing that I really really enjoyed from that was just that that ending line of like Sarah's, oh, where yeah. it's like, "Wait, wait, when are we?" It's like, "Oh, about two years ago." Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just yep okay. She was just waiting for it to happen. Yeah. She's like, she, all right, now Julian has the suit. I wonder when it's going to happen now. It's like, it must be soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> like Alistair flared up like he was then. Yeah. But she, I mean, she... Victor she is, didn't is human alter looking. It, you know? mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, I wonder if, like, she even realized that Victor was the same person at first. Like, maybe it took until, like, he, he took, like, the human form for her to be like, oh... That's who that is. <laughs> oh, well, I, and I, oh, well, Victor did mention that he was a crypt folk uh, later on when we were talking with Sarah uh, in the, yeah. pa- the past Sarah. V- Fair Victor's enough. Like, I'm a crypt folk. She's like, oh, really? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I forget what I said. <laughs> it was something like, I'm really talented or something like that. <laughs> I forget if Victor peeled the wraps back and showed his face or something weird like that. But Maybe. I forget. Yeah. So yeah, like starting an episode. Uh, let's see here. Two, 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 yeah, two oh eight. Yeah, I said. I, I wrote. You know, everyone gets caught up about what the situation again, and everyone speculates on the nuances of time travel again. again. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I think you typed like, nuisances. Although I could guess I could see either really. Oh, yeah, oh, nuisances. yeah. That that's yeah. probably spell check. I probably just spelled it wrong, and then spell check was like, I know what you, word you meant. I don't know. I think nuisances of time travel sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> How about nuances? <laughs> I can't spell. I have to type again so that it'll it'll there nuisances. Why does it keep wanting to whatever? Yeah. It just really doesn't like nuance. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair just gonna... jumps down. Y'all go down in the shuttle with the Amnol. Uh, Julian. Oh and, yeah. And, and Victor does. Um, Alistair, of course, stops by Evangeline's house. First thing. Yep. First thing. Like he didn't his... even wait for anyone. He was just nope. bye. <laughs> nope. But he didn't nope. interfere no with waiting. anything. He talked no. to his past no, self that was not a Dreamlands cat yet. Um to protect yeah. her. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. <laughs> I, I could just imagine like, you know, like Alistair's there and he taps on the window and then like other regular <laughs> cat Alistair just walks over and is like, Oh, another cat. And, he and he's like his time. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> probably and so. he's like <laughs> Oh yeah. That's another cat. Ooh, food. And then he just yeah. walks away. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Alistair's like, why in the world? And Alistair just assumes that because pre-Dreamlands Alistair is a cat, that he is very intelligent and will know exactly what he's saying, you know? Well, I don't know. Maybe Alistair remembered having that interaction. Yeah. Maybe, but I kind of feel like Alistair was like, 
kidding himself, you know, like, 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 and I don't know if there was some sort of force preventing him from changing the past or something, but like, you know, once he got there, he realized I can't really like, like, like the, uh, the lecture Victor gave him, you know, it was like, oh, you know, well, you, if, if you stop yourself from, if, if you stop Evangeline from getting killed, then you won't become Alistair to go out and with the mission to stop Evangeline <laughs> to get killed. So then you won't kill Evangeline. Like, like yeah. Victor spelling out a paradox. <laughs> it's like, it was just like nagging Alistair in the back of his head. And he's like, surely Victor can't get that right. And, you know, and then, then by the time you got there, you're like, yeah, I guess I couldn't change the past before. <laughs> well, I'll I find mean, some other way to change the past that's not directly changing the past right now when I could. And then you just leave. maybe <laughs> maybe the best way of putting it, at least from Alistair's perspective, uh, is that uh, at least according to what Alistair thinks, then he's not able to actually change anything that he didn't already change. In in other words, like for him to have been able to do something, it was something that already had happened. Hmm. And mm-hmm. since Evangeline didn't disappear at that time, at least in Alistair's mind, then that means Evangeline couldn't have disappeared at that time, regardless mm-hmm. of what he did. I've had too much cheer wine and rum to understand. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even have that much. <laughs> um, yep, it's very confusing. And so Alistair doesn't actually change the past at all, um, because mm-hmm. as we learned in our last arc, you can't change the past. Yeah. Um, Everything mm-hmm. is destined to happen well, the, the way it does, kind of deal. I guess the arc before. I mean, last. it just did. It happened yeah, the way it that happened. it did. Yeah, it just happened. It always will. Just like lost. There's no. There's no destiny. Destiny to it. It just. Yeah. Did. No destiny. Yeah. <laughs> true. That is true. It just. It just happens. And so, because Alistair had gotten there first and ran off, and he didn't live that far from the DDA to begin with, by the time Julian and Victor get down to the ground and walk, you know, over to the DDA. Um, they all meet at the same time, but not before Victor and Julian run into Gerbo walking down the street, yes. <laughs> announcing mm-hmm. out loud that he had just gotten out of school and it was his first day. <laughs> like we just <laughs> happened to be there the first day. Maybe, maybe we didn't speculate much during the, during, during the episode, but maybe that's why like Gerbo felt some sort of instant, you know, draw to Julian Maybe, um, you know, he's not like just the random two guys that he <laughs> met on the way to work the first day. And then like the new doctor two years later reminds him a lot of that guy mm. that was next to the other guy that was really encouraging. Yeah. And and yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. before that, I mean, he was very self-encouraging. Like he talks to himself like to hype himself up. Oh, it's my first day. You know, mm-hmm. just <laughs> Yeah, and Victor was like, "Good job, <laughs> have a great first day at work." <laughs> Victor was always encouraging Gerbo. That's that's why everybody loves Victor because he went back in the past and complimented everybody and encouraged them. And you he encouraged did later. him to <laughs> like, like like he did to all of our <laughs> listeners. He went Julian. back in the past and we're just like, "You can do it." <laughs> <laughs> Julian hints that Goblin Girls are pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> he, d- he did i forget whether max was like oh julian didn't say that but i think you were like no yeah he did because yeah. <laughs> was like oh goblins okay <laughs> you just put that little thing in there and then you know later you know when he's trying to help gertie he's like you know, goblin girls are pretty nice it's it's like the time travel version of inception <laughs> we put that idea in his head two years in advance or actually just one year in advance in that case yeah yeah. Yeah. It's like during that year, he was like, yeah, Goblin Girls. And maybe maybe he'd gone to see the play. Oh, well, he hadn't been able to yet, remember? Oh, that's right. It. I mean, that's right. That's right. She probably gave him a private performance later. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> of the play. Oh, okay. The play. Okay, okay. <laughs> He was never able to go. You had the director of the theater and the primary actress there in the library. They probably put on a play or two in that year they were stuck in there just to entertain each other. Well, I think the Imagine existence the of Derby kind of suggests that the other is also true. Yeah, <laughs> they entertain themselves, all right. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Um, oh, yeah, we were walking to the DDA. And so everyone got oh, to the yeah. DDA together. And then we go in the elevator. Man Rose is right there. We press the elevator button. It opens he right knows up. Who you are. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Man Good Rose old Man knows Rose. More than anyone. <laughs> knowing, knowing everything about everything that's going on. <laughs> no, I met you two years from now. <laughs> <laughs> 
or a year. Well, from no, it would have been know. a year. It would have been. You might have said yeah. two years, but it would have been a year yeah. from then. Would have yeah. been a year. But <laughs> I haven't seen you since two years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do you have my key? <laughs> Put yeah. it back where you found it, so you can get it later. <laughs> so you can get I it mean, two that, years, that's years the, from now. That's the question, though. Is is the key in a time loop, or is the time in the elevator either linear but separate than the time from everything else, or is it outside of time altogether, and so it exists in its sort of own linear existence outside of everything? Or is there I mean, a I guess that's from a great our, question. From our perspective, there's no way to know. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That is a great question. <laughs> I ask good questions. Not when we're playing. Because then, then you just it, refuse to answer anyway. It wouldn't be as fun if you ask good questions while we were playing. Yeah. But no, like, uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, like some kind of uh, detective or something. It definitely mm-hmm. doesn't exist in normal time in a normal time stream. It's it's basically a TARDIS, <laughs> just much That's smaller also on the inside. Multi-dimensional. It's a it's time and relative dimension inside. in space. Mm-hmm. Ad break, end ad break. I think the real question, and. I still don't actually know the answer to this one, even though mm-hmm. we're finished with everything, is mm-hmm. where did Manrose go? Because he wasn't in the <laughs> elevator. So where'd he go? Well, he said he didn't live in the elevator. <laughs> he just went home <laughs> while we were dealing with Aster. He was just sitting in his living room. Like, I haven't had a break in 700 years. <laughs> <laughs> or was it six months? You know, um, It's both. I haven't yeah. had a break since I had that year to sleep off that injury. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much better now. Oh, yes. Man, Man Rose, Rose is we, we, quite the enigma. Yes. yes. And, 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 the we elevator. Ask, um, and we asked him to take us to Sarah. And so we get taken to their office, the Sarah and Fiona and Alexander and Hastings office that we had never seen. They never let us in their office. Mm-hmm. Um, they were just like, your <laughs> office is on office. this floor. Mm-hmm. Here, enjoy your plain desk and your filing cabinets. Like, and I don't know if you nice fully spot. described their office, but I I imagined like a little fountain lobby, you know, and like <laughs> okay, the desk so with like all the the wood, you know, like all the carved wood. I was imagining it like the office on Mary Tyler Moore. Huh. Interesting. Don't remember that one. Is that well, one the one? Did, well, that's did, like, did a, they have like, like a 70s kind of journalist like office yeah. or some, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 What about the office from uh, the police office from 22 Jump Street that Ice Cube was in? It was just like <laughs> where oh, he was church? literally in a giant yeah. ice cube. <laughs> oh, the ice. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't notice. I just realized that. Just I, now I, about I, that. I, he was I, in I don't think I've ever noticed that myself. Glass office. That office. He's literally, wow. he's literally in a, an ice cube. That's funny. <laughs> that, that is, is funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he realized that. Um, they were in the church in the second movie. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, are we sure? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, in the well, second the, movie, he had no, the, the big church glass office. The, church, church was the first, first movie, and then the first the Ice Cube. Because in the second was, one, there, there's the thing yeah. where where Channing Tatum's character is like doing the singing and the dancing, and everyone can see him from the bottom up in the glass mm-hmm. office. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. really funny movies. The Twenty One Jump Street, Twenty Two Jump Street. Y'all should check them out if you haven't. Yeah, um, yeah. And we also need to at Ice Cube if he has a Twitter through the Microphones and Monsters account and find and out ask if, he him if he realized that he was that, in an Ice Cube. That, that his office sure was did. in Ice Cube we just in, picked, in 22. <laughs> we just picked Jump up on it in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. We just now picked up on it. Yeah. Oh, 22 yeah, because Jump Street. 2022. Yeah. <laughs> the 2022 exactly. Jump Street. Oh, it, did it you was, already say it was that, prophesied. Steven? I ju- we were saying it at the exact same time. Oh, okay. Like, okay. like our, okay. our thoughts were like, like you know, like <laughs> they it was were synchronized and desynchronized at the same time. Yeah, we exactly. were like dancing, like back and forth. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, can't see my hands. The prophecy my hands has come like, true. I've got my fingers out like a little He's circle, a finger and I'm cage. turning He's going them back and yeah, forth, back and forth. wibbly yeah. wobbly with it. Okay. Anyway, um, now that cage. we've talked about Twenty Two Jump Street, um, <laughs> that's a good Check magic item. Finger list. cage. Finger cage. You it's mean like the Chinese finger mimics. traps? No, but it's powered by mimics. A mimic finger trap? Yeah. <laughs> Pushing together isn't how you get it to go away. Like, no. Yeah. So it's a for little, the first, little trickier to get rid of it. 
So for the first and only time in the campaign, I think, we were telling Sarah what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we told her that everyone else was going to die. I think we discussed that we weren't going to do that. But um, yeah. She probably picks it up on the context clues. You know, we walk in and we weren't like, are you in charge? We're, 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 we're just kind so of like mostly you. ignoring everybody else. Like, it's just like, so Sarah. <laughs> the rest of you won't be important for much longer. <laughs> um, Alexander kept trying to do his job and was still never I, very clear on what I, that was. I think, yeah, I think it's yeah. hilarious because we still have no idea what he really did. <laughs> we don't he know what he did, did quite and... a lot behind the scenes <laughs> well in this in in in, the, in these couple episodes the one thing for sure that i know alexander did is get some coffee <laughs> so i think alexander was just the receptionist and he wasn't very good since fiona was the one walking us around um <laughs> he got demoted to having you know, like like swamp thing hands anyway <laughs> it was never There's explained hands <laughs> Yeah, he just had, he had he had extra webbing between his fingers than more than he webbing. had when we saw him that time. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's the strangest thing that Adam has just called out repeatedly. We just don't <laughs> care. We don't care that he has little frog hands. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. That's okay. It'll drive the listeners nuts. Yeah. <laughs> what does Alexander actually do? I know less about Alexander than I do Manrose, everybody. That's how crazy it is. <laughs> oh. But yeah, Sarah, Sarah's. Uh, we find out. Uh, we find out that the elevator isn't connected to everything like it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Like it was um, before. Um, like they can't really do anything with it, you know, aside from like go up and down, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's because it's not. It's disconnected from the forever web. Why am I doing this, Adam? <laughs> the forever web. For because a web. Akalaka, Akalaka Chaka, <laughs> Chaka Khan was... Um, At Lachnacha? Uh, that's what I said. Um, I think I tried to spell it twice in here, and I spelled it twice two different ways. Yeah, you kept spelling this, this, it wrong, yeah. The second time I just said Akak Nala. Akak Nala. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, we were told that like, oh, the really the only way to get in touch with that guy is to go see him in person. Yeah, but we yeah. don't know where that is for sure. But you, but Julian finds out. Oh yeah, yeah Julian. Yeah, finds Julian out. stole Alexander's job of finding out. Yeah, yeah. Vic, Victor. <laughs> Victor went to go see a, a goblin's life, and Alistair took a nap at the sheriff's station. And Julian rigged up his Vox box in his mech suit and contacted Ak Lak Lak and and and. <laughs> Are you okay? I feel like the Martians from from Mars Attack. Ak 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 Ak. That guy. Um, <laughs> Uh, and 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 was like, you know, hey, I want to find you. Where are you? And 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 he was like, he, and and then stuff appeared on the the heads up display in his visor with coordinates. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, he figured it out because he, I mean, he he mastered like that technology in in um or at least figuring finding stuff with Yik Tech. Uh, he figured out kind of how to do that through the fugue states that he went through and the the knowledge he wrote down in his notes yeah meanwhile no one can pronounce the name of whatever that thing is <laughs> except for me except okay. for you <laughs> it's it's because it's more fun if we don't pronounce it the right yeah. way <laughs> yeah um but yeah julian just goes to sarah and he's like hey i figured it out it's over here mm -hmm. oh well i guess alexander is pretty useless <laughs> <laughs> Like, what was he doing? What was he doing, Adam? What was he doing to try to figure? Was he like doing? He math, was in the seal room. He was. He <laughs> was channeling the seal to That's figure why out we where it was. Him with a, you know. So, or, so he he was doing the same thing that he did when we first ended up in in Dark City, kind of. In Dark City. I mean, how he like kind of like used the portal to kind of feel around for a place to go, sort of. Oh, that was the, Julian. Uh, 
Uh, Alexander. Alexander was. Oh, Alexander yeah. was. Gotcha. Alexander. Yeah, was yeah. I was asking. Seal. What I can tell you all that. So, yeah. doing. Did, so did he? Did he like make a deal with like Dagon or something, and that's how he ended up with the web dance? <laughs> no. <laughs> like make a deal with Dagon to figure out where Akbar Nacha is. To, He's like, yes, to you, make you a deal have to become like, a. Well, you, I mean, you must have become a deep one, and then I will tell you. And he was like halfway through that... the process, and and, and, and <laughs> Sarah called Alexander. He's like, Alexander, never mind. He's like, okay, sorry, Dagon. And then he hung up on Dagon, and so now his hands are web. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happened. But uh, I mean, deep ones did exist in this world, and Dagon existed as well. So wait, does Dagon exist in every world as one thing, or does he exist in different worlds as different Dagon? Hmm. I can say that he can exist in ev in multiple worlds. Okay. Okay. He's not multiversal. But but every every Dagon isn't necessarily the same Dagon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But but when you say I bit Dagon, people kinda know what you mean no matter what you mean. <laughs> I mean if they know what um, Dagon is <laughs> not everybody knows what that's Dagon later. is. That's yeah, later. That's yeah, yeah. later. Um oh. <laughs> but um, um Oh, he asked about the founder of the organization. They were smart. Yeah, he did, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> that's that's what Sarah said. I mean, Sarah was really long winded about it, but it, it amounted to he, they were really smart. We don't know. It was a long time ago or something. Some wise guy. Uh, I, I think I think she did in in all this said that 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 dark well and where y'all were and everything was not their first. It's not their original world. Yeah, she said in my world this was yeah. what my office looked like or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And she's used that terminology before. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I know she mm -hmm. used it in in Dread Tech. Like, I'm um, pretty sure that she insinuated at some point that like her world basically had the same thing happen to it, like as as our world. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So she failed too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> acting like we're all <laughs> acting like we suck when it was her. She 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 failed twice. <laughs> Dagum Dalton knocked her out. She was lying there. She failed at there. least twice that you know of. I yeah. mean, we've got a way better track record. <laughs> yeah. But um, after that conversation, Julian uh, tells her where to find us in the sheriff's office and what day. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, and you check Barum's office this day and you'll find us, you know, and you got to recruit us. Yay. Yeah. She didn't Covering really have any other holes. instructions beside that. It was just <laughs> like, you, you go find us. We'll be right there. Covering covering up plot holes that weren't actually plot holes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't even have to set that up either. Like that was that was all that was all Julian. And that was all Max. I'm sorry. That was mm -hmm. all Max. But it's but it's like that's something that nobody was even questioning to begin with. It was no. just like, oh well, she's the head of some secretive organization. Of course, she has feelers out in the city that she knows like what's going on and when people are brought into the the like sheriff. Yeah, because yeah, she was but, told by but, time travelers. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's why all three of us worked for her when we had never met before. Yeah, like we already that worked day. for her. You already worked. worked. Yeah. <laughs> I like how she assumed she she was like, they work for me. Like like that's how that's how she ended up in charge of us is 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 we told her who we were and what was happening. Well and she then told she recruited you to go us. down and tell her and then she yeah did yeah so she's just assumed she was in charge the whole time i mean she was <laughs> because well, well i mean i mean wouldn't was. you assume that if everybody like started like basically deep like debriefing themselves to you yeah yeah <laughs> like hi fiona where's sarah yeah where, where's she it's, at yeah we need, we need to tell sarah You'll be something. dead later you're not important <laughs> it's kind of seniority thing like she is the yeah you know, the senior member yeah that makes sense i was just being silly Oh anyway, no no I know more I know. importantly I'm just I'm more just importantly giving information on the the hierarchy of the, the well, no organization one that um, what people <laughs> want to know is 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 about Victor enjoying the play yeah um, oh yeah <laughs> did Victor enjoy the play <laughs> yes he loved it remember I mean, it is, was it great is well, I mean you got to play D twenty no, I'm joking <laughs> it is no, it no, is no. the you best play in all of microphones and monsters yes I know it yes coming in a distant second is the king in yellow. <laughs> uh -huh. But he had a really good time. He thought Gertie did a great job. Um, he wasn't going to go to Gimbal and Brackus, but you sort of twisted my arm, and so he did. And then he inspired them to make the shuriken, yes. the famed shurikens that have been Don't so useful. Um, 
<laughs> because as as I reveal later on, I didn't understand how how monk weapons worked with my level up, since I could have been using the shurikens the whole mm -hmm. time. Yeah. But I thought they only did D four damage, and I was like, well, that's worthless. I'll keep these <laughs> as a novelty. <laughs> Why would I hit anything with a shuriken when I can hit it with a wrap and do twice the damage potentially? Mm -hmm. um, and and so then Alistair, not to be left out of adding backstory to characters. I uh, had to go and see the stout hearts. <laughs> yeah. We've got to make those cat backpacks. <laughs> we got to do as many callbacks as possible. <laughs> it's like, well, they got to do it. Alistair wanted to, too. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like, like Victor's going to go visit Luth or anything. Uh, yeah, that yeah. might be that a would little really weirder. confuse him. Yeah. Since Victor Luth would goes already and visits know you his at past the time. Self. Victor, vi vis Victor visits his past self and puts the hat on his head. <laughs> <laughs> he seems, he seems like, like I don't need it in anymore. Alleyway, asleep. Like that's that's where he actually got the hat from. He got it from himself. <laughs> it's just in a loop. No, like it's just a loop hat. <laughs> it is magic, so that would have not like, made damage or anything at all. <laughs> it, it wouldn't have made sense, and I I wouldn't have done it because well, of course really it makes sense. Hat. He got the hat from himself, which he got 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 from himself. <laughs> But yeah, he, everyone does more callbacks and and interferes more with the past to cause things that already happened. Because if you're mm -hmm. gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. Um, and then we go back to the DDA and Julian's like, you know, while you guys were having fun, um, I got and entertaining done. everyone. <laughs> I, I solved another problem real quick with my smarty smarts. Yep. And he's like, you know, well, we we have to get to the other side of the planet. So I was thinking that we call the shuttle down and don't tell Yamnol. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> like Max set me up perfectly for that. Like, yeah. Yam, no, bring the shuttle down. Because <laughs> obviously Julian just has an irrational hate for Yamnol, mm -hmm. which I don't like, understand. Victor, Victor doesn't like love Yamnol like 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 a best friend or anything, you know. He, he's not even in like maybe his top five people that he knows. But, but Yamnol's Julian. an okay dude. He, he he's 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 nice. He tries real hard. He's he's very enthusiastic. Sure, why not? But Julian just can't stand him. I mean, Julian, if he could sacrifice Yamnol for a sandwich, he'd do it. And Yamnol is oblivious to his hatred because Yamnol's just that chill. He's just a chill dude, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And so we, we, we get in the shuttle and we fly around the other side of the planet where there's a hole, right? <laughs> yes, there's <laughs> a hole. Is that right? <laughs> well, we got to go in the dreamlands and then there's a hole. And we go in the hole, right? It is yeah, in the Yeah, but the hole is it like is in the massive. Yes. Like, yeah, it is in the dreamlands. And the hole is just like massive. Like it's, it's bigger seemingly than it should be, you know? Because it's in the dreamlands, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Totally it's like, it's like if this hole, hole were real, be. like somebody should have noticed this, right? Yeah, like... right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was it was y'all were y'all were like honed in on the exact location, uh, which the dreamlands locations are very different than than your normal um, mm -hmm. X and Y, like yeah, normal X Y Z coordinates. X Y Z, yeah. And it's, yeah, when you it's start less mixing of a in... hole than like the the Earth itself, kind of like or I guess Opens like Zenzaltera. Like, actually, itself, like, just has extra space in there that is the hole. Yeah. But, like, on either side of the hole, it just matches up perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, it's super-duper <laughs> creepy. You got and, it. Exactly. <laughs> and Yamnol, Yamnol doesn't want to go down there because we all did dread rolls. Uh, well, he doesn't want to go down there to begin with, and then we all do dread rolls, and then Yamnol can't go down there because yeah. Yamnol's got to play by the same rules we do. Yep. Um, Yamnol was never going to go down there. Julian's no. idea of not taking Yamnol was actually a really good idea. Um, because because, because then we could have had a ship. And, and Yamnol doesn't have any god stuff attached to him um, or ancient technology or anything. Yeah, he doesn't have your dread um, resistance either. Yeah. No, so... Um, so we leave Yamnol in the shuttle and jump down the hole. Well, we start mm -hmm. flying down the Might hole, well and jump. then and then it <laughs> essentially starts pulling us where we can't really not jump. go down the hole anymore. Um, <laughs> even so, so Julian ends up getting level two dread, but it doesn't matter. He's still moving towards the yeah. Dread you can't source. stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no dread and just we, makes you not want to move any further. Like, but uh, <laughs> gravity doesn't care, even in the dreamlands. Mm -hmm. And and so we fall like Bill and Ted 
uh, in in Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Yeah, down and down, 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 down. Um, and then you just you just start having casual conversation at that point, just like just talking. <laughs> just playing twenty question. <laughs> just waiting. Mm-hmm. I mean, what else is there to do? And then we hit a spider, a giant spider web, mm-hmm. uh, because like the Aki Act was described as a giant spider Don't monster. Talk back. <laughs> Ackity yak. There, there we go. That's it. We yeah. have to talk to Yakity Yak. Um, uh, and uh, and it was like like it had a bunch of melting, moving faces or something. Like, wh- wh- how did yeah. I describe this? They see it, it has gross eldritch stuff going on, like faces and stuff, like usual. Like That's usual. You know, just just the <laughs> like same old, usual. same old. It's just yeah, uh, just moaning and gibbering faces, just swirling around and coming out of out of its head you, you know just horrifying imagery that would send any lesser being into say. fits of insanity do you think that these like guys realize what they look like like do they do it on purpose or is it just sort of happens <laughs> they just are that's, i mean that, did, that's did just they, fashion man like, like it's what's popular just, right now they, they got where they were just because they were so gross and scary that everything else bows before them they, it's no, like one they, of those kind of predestined a... jobs kind of deal. Like you, <laughs> you are going to be a horrifying monster that rules like the forever web. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was hoping to go into accounting. <laughs> and waste all of this talent? No. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Julian starts trying to make a deal. He's, and J- Julian's like all business, you know? And, yeah, and we're like, for, what is the he talking time, about? He's just all business, like this entire arc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Alistair, Alistair, Victor, are like, what is he doing? Um, Victor, Victor's just trying to make casual conversation. <laughs> I don't know what what I bit Dagon. possessed me. I don't know what possessed me to say I bit Dagon. <laughs> I want to say it was the dread and the nervousness, like yeah, where yeah. Like, when you're dread? nervous and you just like just blurt things out, like it was like that. I forget if I had dread or not. I don't remember if the dread got me. It probably did. But, you know, I think Victor, I think I think what I was thinking is that Victor thought that if we acted less intimidated, mm-hmm. that it wouldn't be as bad. Yeah. And telling him, like, I built, I bit like an old one, like, like, <laughs> like thing. Like, maybe, I, maybe I'll I'm bite cool. you, too. I'm, <laughs> I'm watch still out. alive. <laughs> Essentially, it was I bit Dagon and I'm still alive. So don't mess with me, buddy. <laughs> no. You're just like, I bit Dagon. He's like, I, hopefully he doesn't like Dagon. <laughs> He's like, Dagon was my roommate in college. Like, I want to say it was still like very intimidating to y'all, and and like it was still scary, even though like you might not have had dread or something like that. But. Well, well yeah, I was gonna yeah. say like due to the whole dread protection thing, like I mean, we still would feel dread uneasy, even if it doesn't yeah. affect us as strongly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was still a giant spider, and we were literally in a literal web. web. It wasn't even a figurative web. It was a literal web. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's a literal web. That was not the forever web. That was just the ever web. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was just the web. There was no (laughs) distance. It was just you got his attention, and he appeared the web, you know, kind of deal. Yep. But yeah, like like Julian's like, all right, well, it, we just need you to send us back where we're going. We got to fight Haster. We know you probably don't like him, and you used to be connected to our thingy, so we need to be reconnected, please. You know. Uh-huh. And he's like, yeah, but will you give me? Yeah. <laughs> and well, he needs your essence. He needs what, your what essence. What do you want? It's like I, I need some of your essence. I want your soul. I want to eat your soul, please. And like <laughs> he's like, whatever you call it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just give me a chunk <laughs> of you. And I'll just take whatever essence is in the chunk. And then the most, even even better than the barrels, you know, into that, or the fire extinguisher and, and better Axolotl. than the, um, <laughs> better than the metal detector, <laughs> the ooze rock <laughs> that was made out of horrified, terrifying, agony people being transformed into ooze. We put our essence in that so we didn't have to like lose a finger or something. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, really, that could be play of the game right there. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all were, y'all <laughs> were literally going to have to give up a part of your body. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, Victor would have just made an extra finger with the wraps or whatever, but yeah. still. Yeah. No. Um, Julian could have made prosthetics and put magic in them. 
You know, but it could have been really cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was Julie, looking. Julian could have made a callback to the the session zero and cut off his arm. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking at my. I was looking at it, it. Like, what can I? What could I do? How can I prevent him from taking a piece of my body? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was actually a really good call. And I mean, he even said it himself, like the, the tormented souls, like multiples, mm-hmm. like like the, the tormented people that were inside of that. It's like so, so, so mm-hmm. delicious. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the smell off of it is just intoxicating. So all of you people that were criticizing me and making fun of me for keeping a rock made out of a dried up ooze. Two seasons ago, or a season and a half ago, or however long it was. How many episodes was Almost it? Almost curious. Two full seasons now. Let's see. This is this is episode two twelve when it happened, uh, and we got that rock. Let's see <laughs> He's here. Looking. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Where is this ooze rock here? Shrinks the ooze to a rock. Episode one twenty two. So that would be ninety episodes I held on <laughs> to that who's rock. Countless play sessions, probably at least five or six. Um countless. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give countless, Alistair at least five or six. I'm, I'm gonna give Alistair an assist on that for like using Vampiric Touch to create yeah. the, the rock to begin with. Alistair yeah, remember that spell, Vampiric <laughs> Touch, you know, the one that he uses like once. <laughs> Didn't you use it you, just once? You used the spell once, and it saved all of us a piece of our bodies. Yeah, it saved Alistair a little footy or 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 a, or a little a little pad off his foot or one of his nails <laughs> or something. You could have declawed Alistair like one one nail. You know, I don't know what part you take off of a cat. I don't know. I don't cut cats up very it was, often. It was y'all's Flatty. choice, actually. Like it was your it's choice. Y'all's choice. <laughs> Alistair's head. He's just like, take my head. <laughs> I don't need my head. Eldritch Blast, Neck Blast. <laughs> the Eldritch, it's just Alistair. <laughs> they just cut the head off before it gets to the cat vocal cords, and so he can still talk. Oh, he makes like the 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 green eyed cat face appear over his regular face with Tolsha <laughs> magic or something. This is ludicrous. Anyway, anyway, I picked up trash off the ground ninety episodes ago, and it saved it saved like a finger or a toe or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm very proud of that. I put it in all caps. In the yes. Notes. Super important item. Steven is vindicated. <laughs> you all laughed, but it was a genius level move to pick up trash on the ground and keep it for two seasons in all caps. <laughs> I write the summaries. I decide what goes in them. <laughs> yeah. um, it's my job. It's my burden. Mm-hmm. It's my cross to bury. Carry. You bury. don't bury crosses. Anyway, <laughs> ad break. End ad break. There you go. Yes. There we go. Where were there we? we are. And here we, we are. Got where back. We? we got Richard back. I am back. Ooze Rock. Ooze, ooze rock. rock is where we were. Okay, we finished the Ooze Rock. We're moving on. We finished the Ooze Rock. You got your, your, your time to shine. <laughs> yeah, I got my time to shine. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, yeah he gives you a to prepare. was happy with that and decided that he would send us back with everybody, including some random gnome with a bunch of tiny people inside of him. <laughs> and they weren't it. all tiny people <laughs> but yeah and we've David got a week know. to prepare and then he sends us back and we're immediately in Haster's area right we we would immediately be in Haster's area when we went back yeah. mm-hmm. but you had the tool Who? to to st- to to keep it y'all you know, from turning into undead it's Excellent. on the ship and yeah. we had also gotten uh acquired Eliana Iker. Of oh, oh, Appalachian yeah, yeah. Nacha. Yes. So so Which after seasons of Iker being on everything, um, we kept some and the scientist guys were really excited about it. Nerd boners they were, totally. They were like really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Got some of that Iker. Got some of that at <laughs> nacho cheese sauce. <laughs> Uh, and then we tell present Sarah everything that was going on yep. uh, after we visit the Spider Monster guy. Um, because because for the second time, like in, in short succession, we get to tell Sarah what's happening. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then there's an episode where not much happened. Like I've got like four bullet points, you know, like six sentences or something. Yeah. Nothing happens. We, Everyone we're just discusses like, oh, strategy what are we going to do? For a bit. Uh, yeah. Downtime, like, everyone oh. does normal downtime stuff. <laughs> you know, like well, you that's do. what happened. They also <laughs> discuss what help they might be able to get 
meaning the previous guest stars and Eliana. <laughs> they leave the room together and are in Eliana's village. Yay, yeah, Overdale. They, they go to her house and have snacks while they wait. <laughs> That's what happened. That's exactly I what I mean, he, there was funny stuff here. in there. That's perfect. Yeah. There were there was funny stuff in there, but there, there wasn't much to summarize. It was a normal downtime like like episode, yeah. really. It yeah. was a normal downtime I mean, this, episode. This, this it was a really, good downtime episode. Really Y'all simple really and hadn't quick. had a lot of downtime time episodes this other than mm-hmm. the discussion about the vents. Like that was kind of a downtime <laughs> that, episode. That was our downtime. Was it just a discussion about vents? <laughs> instead of instead of like downtime, time just passing by really downtime. fast, it was it was live, like y'all bickering <laughs> it was, about it was actual downtime of us trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then but then we're, we're we're in Eliana's village and we go to her house and Usu gives us some snacks while we wait. Mm-hmm. And then Eliana comes in and she's like, hey, what's up, guys? Um, well, she's, more, she's actually, hello, you three. You know. <laughs> this is all, all going to be very sultry. Yeah. Yes, that's my sultry voice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, and then, their friends, and then yeah. she says, "Yeah, friends." In quotation marks, I, how do we describe them? You know, it's like, oh, our compatriots. You know, like people yeah. who we had teamed up with before. We were talking about, hey, we could use help from people that we know, mm-hmm. uh, and that we know are capable. Yeah, she she decided so she, to break the four, fourth wall. I was like, I will bring back the guest players. <laughs> <laughs> Victor's got nothing to offer. I actually yeah, there was there was like a like a bunch of back and forth like or she was like making an offer to Victor. I think I think that got cut though. Um, no no no, it didn't get cut. She was making an offer to Victor for what Victor would want in exchange for giving us what we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah it didn't like make how? Sense. What can I give you, Victor? I, I don't know. I guess, and I will make it to where you don't have to eat anything to survive, and then, and that way, you don't have to eat people. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Adam's like, wait a second. No, wait. Why would she be giving you something? <laughs> <laughs> she just really into making deals. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish that had been in Eliana's in like character be like, "Wait. Why am I giving you more things? You give something to me." I think I meant to cut that out, but but it just it was funny and I left it in. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there was some good stuff in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that's too good to to take out. Yeah. Yeah, really. Ultimately, what what Eliana got out of the deal is Eliana got to write her name in Alistair's book. Yes, yes. This time, Alistair got to make a deal, or rather, they got to make a deal on Alistair's behalf. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) yeah. And I think I suggested it, didn't I? (laughs) Owes her just out of character. Like, like that maybe sounds right. Like, I I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that Alistair was not the one that brought it up. Mm Hmm. No, no, it was either out of character or in character. Like, uh, it was either me saying it or it was like Victor was like, oh, you can, Alistair, you can let her write your her name in your book. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, that's a good idea. I want to yeah. be in the Tulsa book. Yeah. And Alistair was like, fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Julian owes her a, a favor, which is probably yeah. worse that, than that. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Yeah. I'll see you later. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink she always did seem to like julian a little bit more <laughs> oh having secret meetings let me see your hands you know? <laughs> oh yeah that yeah oh mm-hmm. yeah look at that There's well he stayed behind for finger that. going around the little mouth yeah. yeah i know i'm just being silly and and then um, and then running, for uh, making a deal fingers with fingers along the little the little vampire mouths on his hands <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah she's just running her finger around it <laughs> I just love your hand beak. <laughs> uh, but but yes, our reward for making a deal with Eliana, beyond making a deal with Eliana, was we got to level up. Yes. We got to level up. We yeah, got to we level got to... up. <laughs> uh, Julian got more infusions and spells, I think. I mean, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. He did. He got more infusions, and then he said something about some spells, and you know, I don't even... Remember which spells they were, if he used them. Or... I don't know. Probably something lightning related. Lightning. Yeah. yeah. They're all pretty lightning related. It's a theme. <laughs> um, and Victor Victor got um, uh, uh, advantage on all saving throws. 
because of a monk thing. It's pretty mm-hmm. nice. Uh, I also talked about how I didn't understand my previous level ups properly. <laughs> <In my Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> On the final level up. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, my levels didn't hurt. I also, um, I don't know whether I remembered it on this level up um, or not, because um, we didn't discuss HP too much. But I think I shorted myself an HP point on the last level up before this one, because because I had taken the level up before that, the, the feat that, like, gives you a better constitution. Mm-hmm. And so I would have had a plus two on constitution, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so I sh- the minimum HP I should have been able to get would be- would have been four and not three. And I gave myself three. So I could have even finished the campaign with not as much HP as I was supposed to have. Um, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I started playing D&D about 214 episodes ago. Uh, <laughs> like give or take a couple of months. So... Yeah. I think I did pretty well. I, I um, give, or take, so. give or take a handful of sessions, I think. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. And Victor got an insight from Yelky because he was there. May as well. May as well. You know, he he was useful. He was useful there before, so Victor may as well try to fill in as best he can. <laughs> um, and so Victor, he he got an insight, but he literally got insight as the insight because as the tactical officer, you're very insightful. Yeah. yeah. It made perfect sense. Yeah, it makes sense. And then the last note of this morons is uh, Alistair gets another he can't die thing. I don't know if you remember <laughs> yeah. explaining that, Richard. But um, well, well, this particular he can't die thing is uh, a reaction where he can actually remove himself from time, basically. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I mean, in like a nutshell, do. it's like, oh, that thing hit me and would have killed me. Well, instead, I'm going to drop into the uh, like out of the time stream. Like you still drop to one, but you actually get to use some of your hit dice to regain health back up during that time. And then you just like kind of pop back out like, you know, no worse for the wear. (laughs) All healed up. All all healed up and whatnot. I think you actually regain one spell, too. Oh, <laughs> like, well, that's nice. That it's just convenient. like, <laughs> yep, you know that thing that you you did. You thought you killed me. No, I wasn't even there for it, really. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm I'm better now. <laughs> Plus, I'm if you have enough hit dice, it's kind of like you get killed just so you can come back with an extra spell slot. Yeah. <laughs> the next turn, Quick, somebody kill me. I need to get a spell slot. <laughs> Kitty tank. No problem. <laughs> I shoot a rap at you. <laughs> you. You disappear before the rap gets to you, and then you've got another dim door when you come back. <laughs> he he gets right up and like uh, he's he's like clawing up up uh, Victor's Victor's shirt and like gets up in his face. He's like hit me, <laughs> hit me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh man! If you're just like I gotta get off, you're chest. like swatting at him, and it does enough damage to send him out of time. <laughs> he just kind of like disappears. <laughs> Why would he crawl up? He would just have to walk over to. He, he could just he could just turn to Julian. And he's like Julian, shoot me, and Julian would be like, all right, all right. <laughs> like no questions. Just crack asked, off a lightning gun it. shot. I'm gonna use six charges. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah. You know, I still don't really understand how he uses that lightning gun. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how the mechanics of the lightning gun work. Like all the charges thing he's always talking about. I never paid enough attention <laughs> to know how the gun works. It's a, it's a, really? it's a knob. He has to have a certain level of intelligence to go different levels. No, I mean the D and D mechanic of the lightning gun. I, I don't well, basically, he has well, like a pool, a, a pool of dice that he can roll for it. And, mm-hmm. and he just determines how many of those dice he's using per attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's like channeling more of his magical power through the lightning gun to give it more power. Oh, okay. like, that makes sense. I feel like I knew this at some point and I forgot because mm-hmm. it wasn't important to, you know, <laughs> key points or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, ultimately how it works isn't very important to you because no. you weren't using it. No. And again, to stay in character, the less I know, the better. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a really good way helped. to be. It's like the weapon has its own questions. key points. Yeah, and yeah. Each there you key go. point yeah. is a is a is a is a d six or whatever it was. There we go. There we go. But See, it's I limited to dungeons and dungeons. how high his intelligence is, how many he can use. So how many he can use per attack? It. Per attack. Yeah. How long has it been since I played Dungeons and Dragons? It's been a while. 
the beginning of yeah, year. This March, morning has I been think a while. Was the last oh, wow. time we played. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've played too. Yeah, same. Exactly. Cool. All right. What is next? Well, I wow. guess we're through all of the descriptions. So on to the next part. Uh, the next part, I think we are ad break. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm I don't know how we're gonna have another ad we yet. need. <laughs> um, so, so I think I think the next part uh, we either uh, shoot the shit some more or we go to questions. I think we. Oh wait, first, first we have to recap what we've done so far in this morons episode. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so, you're right. So yeah, so we. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Adam rolled his eyes. I could tell he didn't want me to do it. Um, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but we hey. actually have a channel now that is questions for the morons. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like a, a permanent you know, for the channel last not a couple thread. of morons ever. Not a thread that gets overlooked. Um Oh yeah, yeah. We beat Discord. Yeah. <laughs> we win by using Yay. original stuff and not their new shit that this shit. All right. So the first we question had the discussion is discussion last morons, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first question is first no, with that's not three a question. crying laughing emojis. That's, that doesn't have a question mark. <laughs> uh, yes, you were first. Um. <laughs> Chunky and Funky has a question. Did anybody at any point in this server ever truly think, is this the end the for my character? Oh, in this what? What did I say? In this series. You said server. Oh, you're did either I? thinking too much about Discord or you combined series and ever and then said ever again. Oh, maybe I did. I, yeah. I, this I series don't know that... ever truly think, yeah. I don't know that I ever truly thought, is this the end for Alistair? I totally thought, no. is this the end for Julian? Uh, multiple times. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, several times. Uh, also, um, when when I bit Dagon. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah when biting Dagon was definitely a pretty big question mark. And then Again, I, 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 I also knew nothing about like like Lovecraft and, and, and all of that stuff, so the name Dagon didn't mean a thing to me. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm going to bite this big, big nasty guy, and yeah. that'll teach him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it didn't teach him. It taught me <laughs> to not bite him. Um, but you made it through. My, you made it and through. And my character was in certain peril for like three or four episodes. You couldn't like, talk. Julian's, you could just go, Julian's mm. almost died more often, but that was really, really, I was almost dead for a long I was in horrib- horrifying agony for hours um, yeah. as a character. Yeah. multiple sessions yeah like it it was definitely one of those things where like leaving that session yeah i don't think anybody really knew if uh if victor was gonna make it through that yeah oh no because yeah because like we ended the session like it went and what ended that session was that it? Did we end that session like moments after I bit Dagon? I think, I think yeah, yeah, there was actually there. a session end like right then. Yeah. Because he hit me with his tail and it was like, all right, you've got three kinds of poison in you and you have like six HP or something yeah. along those lines. <laughs> yeah, and see y'all like, next week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I, 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 I DM Dietrich and I was like, you have to find a way to save me. Please, it, well, you're the only one in the room and it's your turn next. Please don't let me die. <laughs> Did she make you invisible? Before yes. That? Yeah. Mm. Or, yes. Before the end of that episode, did she make you invisible, or was the invisible after? I think it was before. You I, were invisible. I, maybe it was before. You were, you were hallucinating, and you were stuck. Wait, you were paralyzed. Talk, and, par- and I was petrified. Yeah. Talk yeah, about I, I was, being in a bad spot. Like, yeah, yeah. Th- it left you in a terrible spot. I think we like, made I you was do more the outro for that. for that too. Yeah, I yes, think so. I, th- yeah. I think so. And and I was more I was more concerned at that point than when I got shoved off when I was forced to walk off of like a thirty story building or however tall it was. <laughs> yeah. I was more concerned at that point than I was then. Uh, since then, I don't recall an instance where I thought Victor was going to die necessarily. Anytime um, you might have, you used a barrel and it turned shit into axolotls. I think <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Ithaca was was that that was pretty bad because i was out in the middle of like of of the of the thing and 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 so it would have been easy to just knock me over off the edge yeah uh and there was everything was attacking me and i was out in the open but then i just i threw a barrel at it It it's fine yeah yeah after the tower you just became the random shit go guy like fire (laughs) extinguisher random bullshit who's rock (laughs) the eldritch macgyver it worked beautifully 
it worked. <laughs> oh, we need we need a battery, you know, but we don't want to drain our resources. Well, how about this metal detector I've been lugging around for a season? <laughs> That's got a battery. It has use a battery. That. You can use Take it. You that, became really resourceful Adam. after you almost experienced, well, you had a near-death experience. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, maybe that was Dagon's resourcefulness. Oh, okay. He's a very resourceful guy. Because <laughs> I did play a tiny bit. Um, like every time I absorbed something from someone, mm-hmm. I got just a tiny bit of their personality. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't much. It was just like one or two things uh, that I, pr- I, mean, I specifically thought, like, that, that's what this person might do. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, you uh, have their memories. So, so I mean, yeah, yeah it's we're true. Anything and, where we're. And memories, I mean, what are you so. but your memories? Mm hmm. So. So yeah, maybe the resourcefulness was Dagon. <laughs> maybe. And, and we can answer for Max. He he had backup characters. Like um, we we all thought it was the end for Julian. So imagine how he felt. <laughs> he was he he had backup characters multiple, I think, just just ready to pick from if he ever died. So with some way I, to, to connect them in. I specifically built Alistair to not have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I specifically built Victor in Adam's kitchen just discussing <laughs> what the character might be like and not knowing how D&D rules worked at all. <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, that was your that was I your had a very first character cursory from grasp. scratch. Yep. That was the first it's the first character I've ever built. Um uh well, cuz I mean like my other character that I played for like six sessions or something maybe mm. at most probably closer to four or five um was yeah, just was a gnome past halfway in in our campaign mm. yeah i think i started at a level 11 or something yeah um sounds right yeah, probably somewhere 13. around there yeah um so i had to pick like like 12 15 spells <laughs> to know what i was doing <laughs> like yeah. pick all these spells even though Without you have no knowing. idea what any of them do <laughs> no idea what any of them did no context nothing i was a bard <laughs> You know, <laughs> I was still moderately useful in one or two situations. I, 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 no, no, useful wait. in some situations. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the thing that I talked down? Like I literally talked down a bad, uh, like like an encounter that Adam oh, had built. Oh, with the like, storm I've been doing giants. This before this game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you completely. It was the storm giant one. Yeah, you were able to be, I, you were like, hey, pfft, I know everything about giants. Here, let's go. I got this <clears> book. You, oh. You're looking for this? Oh yeah, I know where that is too. Let's 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 wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. I smoothed everything over. I've like been doing I, that since I started. I, I set you up with, with uh like plot hooks. Um mm-hmm. yeah. coming coming into the campaign. Like why would they need you? You know, I set you up. <laughs> and 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 I just rolled reasonably well. Because mm-hmm. because they were they were like the, the, I mean, at that point bored. that party was just like monkey. steamrolling everything they encountered like with just like murder yeah. and I was just like why don't we talk this out yeah. <laughs> you you, you were like the antithesis the of the majority of D and D players but like, don't worry that's actually a good thing yeah yeah so yeah that's not that's when we bard. thought that, yeah not not the horny bard and not the murder hobo yeah. <laughs> nope nope not my style all right. Next question is, um, did Adam have Sarah knowing it's from that the DD? It's from me. <laughs> oh, it's from me. From yes. Me. Uh, did Adam have Sarah knowing that the DDA boys traveled back in time written out pre-season four? I don't know. Yes. I um, knew that they would travel back in time at some point. Um, when that was, was totally based on their actions and, and what was set up and everything. But I worded things the way she did the entire time knowing that they would eventually travel back in time and she did not want to encourage them to make a decision outside of what happens i feel she didn't know we were going to go back in time twice no (laughs) oh could you have yeah i mean who knows <laughs> so, so are we talking about like the swamp back in time, or are we talking about like the, oh, the you Alistair? Did, you did going travel back, back in, time. in time twice, but yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, she, she, like, I mean, traveling back in time is like extremely risky, and she already knew that, and she felt like if she did say anything, it like that encouraged y'all to travel back in time for any reason, because she specifically even said to Alistair, like, they're gone, like, there's no way to get this world back like it's gone 
<laughs> and, mm-hmm. and meanwhile, Alistair's like, hmm, you know, oh. you say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got about five or six pieces of Tulsa that say differently. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she knew that you would eventually find your way back. But she felt like if she said anything, she would have made it happen differently because she doesn't yeah. fully understand exactly what would happen if, if time time travel happened and and uh was broken but she did know that you did it i mean i mean it's almost as if like i made a character that adam could accurately predict what they were gonna try and do (laughs) yeah i didn't (laughs) (laughs) with your random bag of stuff (laughs) i i just when okay so this actually goes like further back like before we even started playing because i i was like Everybody starts with a magic item. Well, the first ma- I made everybody their first magic item, or I guess y'all might have picked or something. Alistair, the the one that you gave me you gave was me just list. given to me. I did not pick it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Because I, while I was like thinking up magic items that could work for Alistair, I was like, I'm gonna make a series of magic items that once you have all the parts, something big happens. Um, and I knew what that big thing was. I'm not going to say it now. Um, I still, I mean, cause yeah. Um, I knew <laughs> we'll what it there. was going to be then back in 2019. <laughs> and, uh, I did not. Yeah, no, he didn't. He didn't know. Uh, but I said, I, I set it. up all the Tulsha stuff and everything like that. He's going to have the, the six parts of Tulsha and, and he's going to combine them all to, to do something big and uh, time travel was going to be involved. And uh, so I knew they were going to travel back in time eventually. Yes. And Sarah did too. Cool. Cool. Next Adam says, Ooh, great questions. These can be answered in this morons too. <laughs> and, and they have been. <laughs> See, he knew that they would be answered in this morons. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it pre question reading. Pre, pre the morons. Yes. He knew that. <laughs> Let's see. That one, I'm not sure that we off. Okay, so, I mean, this, uh, I mean, I mean, that's a legitimate we can still question. Address it. Uh, okay. From Fulgrim. So, I don't think this will be. Okay, so it says, uh, when the season ends, could I get the finished character sheets from the guys? And I mean, if we're just talking about like uploading some pictures, yeah, I've got no problem with that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Like that, that, that's totally fine for me. Like, I'll take pictures of all of it, upload it so people can look at it. But the actual physical original. I I personally probably would never give up an original character sheet because I save all of my character sheets. Yeah, same. Yeah, no. I've got uh, I've got so many of them. <laughs> so, I I don't even remember if mine was fully updated very well. Eh, yeah, I mean it is what it is. Well, you also printed a different one out every time you leveled, or yeah, or because yeah, I, I I created it on the computer and then and then. And I didn't use a standard D and D character sheet. I used one that mm-hmm. made things a little bit easier to read. Yeah, <laughs> um, that spelled out what I had and, and didn't have. And you modified it even. Oh yeah, yeah. I modified the crap out of it just because it open office and, <laughs> and stuff, changing boxes and all that kind of. Mess. <laughs> and uh, Max's was all on D and D Beyond. Yeah, so. I don't think he ever had a physical sheet. Yeah, yeah. So we can't speak for him because he's. Mm-hmm. But, like, uh, I don't, I don't but know if he'd be willing to send you punished. his phone. He's, 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 you know, punished by going to the mountains. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, I don't know. The The question's not asking. It's not a very specific question on if it's like your original character sheets or just like a, a screen capture or a. Yeah, I imagine whatever. they just want a screen capture. Yeah, so. yeah, like taking some pictures of it, uploading. Yeah, no problem. I, th- I think I can pull that well, off. We could probably put that on the until. website, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Possibly. It's just all three will look different. Yeah, it's all three fine. are going to look different. They're all different, different, mm-hmm. different kinds of sheets. Different, different types of sheets. Like, the, I think the way that we even handled them was a little differently per each. Like, I've got a bunch mm-hmm. of like scribblings like on the back. Erasing. I didn't really. Yeah, yours is pencil. My, mine's pencil. I didn't really take a lot of like notes, but I would like scribble random things on the backs of the sheets sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll I'll take some some pictures of the backs too, so you can see my scribblings. Yeah, having a character that doesn't care what's going on around him, um, if it doesn't involve yeah, exactly. him, you don't. Take I mean, it's notes. like I've got the gist of it. That's all I need. 
<laughs> and my character didn't understand half of what was going on. He was not unintelligent. He was just, uh, there was a lot of complicated stuff going on. Mm. And the more I tried to understand it, the less I understood. So I think Max took the most notes, but I I mean, mm-hmm. his, his being on D&D Beyond, I can't promise that he even still has those notes. Yeah. Probably doesn't. I don't keep notes really beyond a campaign or beyond a session or two. Looking at my sheet, though, since I know we didn't level up any after this, um, spoiler. Um, (laughs) I think I put Um, it in the episode like this is the last one. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, uh, But I wasn't sure in the moment what my insight ended up being. So I had a plus 12 on insight after I ate Yelky. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, like like Victor's, Victor's, you know. Very insight. Abilities were plus 12 insight, plus 12 perception, plus 14 in stealth. I mean, of all of us, he absolutely was the one most suited to being a detective. Yep, yep. And I did have a uh, I did have a plus two mod on my con, so I probably did short myself a p point oh. or so or two at the end of the campaign. <laughs> well, we <laughs> are getting a little pushed on time, um, so we need to. Oh, sorry. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, why am I still so far behind? Just, just gonna I, skip over because you didn't listen to the. There. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you said <laughs> you, we're you recording didn't listen September. to the episodes um, uh, when we were releasing them, so you need to hurry up or whatever. Um, uh, Let's see here. And then there's questions for a specific. <laughs> that, that was your answer to that. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's true. I mean, it, I mean it is the reason that you're far behind, I suppose. Hear this. Uh, when you hear this, you'll be behind on what yeah. follows. Um, I, I mean, I mean, the reason you're still so far behind now when you're hearing this is because you haven't listened to the remaining episodes that are out. But, yep. but you can mm. listen to them because they are out. And, and then and if you're ends. listening to this... And, and then it yeah. ends. It, it's it's yeah. done. Like you and don't have that much farther to go. Anymore. Like you can do it. Like just yeah. just a just a handful more. I think eight more episodes. Eight more episodes. You you got it, champ. Yeah, yeah. You're almost there. <laughs> All um, right. I, I just I just want to backtrack just a little bit to Fulgrim's other question because I think it's a brilliant question. I don't oh, understand this question. Well, I didn't understand it either. Because because Stephen asked like if if people wanted to get questions in or whatever. So Fulgrim asked, well, what's a question you'd like? Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. And I, then the follow-up, while on that subject, it. mind going ahead and answering whatever you just said. So, I so didn't it's basically that part. well, basically, he's just asking, like, okay, well, you come up with a question that you would like to answer. Oh, and then answer. I get it. I don't know. <laughs> I already know everything that happens in the show, so oh, okay, okay. I don't have too many questions for myself. Yeah. I I don't know. Um, I mean, uh, I, a lot of it, it might be the kind of stuff that we've asked for before. You know, a lot of times we've asked like, hey, tell us what your favorite moments are. You know, what mm-hmm. what did you think was um, mm-hmm. what what's something maybe maybe what's a choice that you think, you know, you would have made in in our place when we you know, when we had to make a big decision. You know, it's like, did you have a different perspective on our character than we did? Um, you know, because I mean, to answer that question, we can. You know, I can tell you that if you thought Victor would do anything differently than he did, then you're wrong because he didn't want to do it. Because Victor did <laughs> it, it his way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and Stephen yeah. just slapped like down Sinatra. the Uno reverse card with that question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what question do you think I would like? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> would fans enjoy if we started asking them questions? Mm. <laughs> mm. These are the things that keep us up late at night mm. <laughs> and recording morons. Yes. All right. All right. And then there's there's a bunch of questions after that. Is Alistair Do we want to try to tackle these? Yeah, we could tackle yes. them. We, it's three questions and it's and it's per each of us because we can't. We might be able to answer for Max. I don't know. Um, I, we can't I, I mean, Max. I mean, we might be able to, but I feel like a question directed at Max should probably be answered by Max. Yeah. So so I guess the the question for us at this point is. Do we go ahead oh, yeah, and no, answer is... ours, or do we just wait and hold all of these for, for these for... reading Max's question? I can answer it. I got this. Don't worry okay. about it. All right. So my question, <laughs> we'll read our own questions. Okay. Um, cool. Adam, mind sharing some of what you may have planned if the guys altered the past in some serious ways? Easy. We've already answered that. Um, <laughs> moving on. No. <laughs> moving on. If you, if you want to know the answer, go back and listen to everything. Yeah. No, uh, I actually answered that with uh, Mead's question on if Sarah knew um, the past couldn't have been altered because it was always going to happen that way. 
whether yep. it was altered or not. It was always going to happen the way it happened. Mm-hmm. So uh, for my question, uh, was it close for you to was it close for you to talk to her, or were you, were you dedicated to getting back from the start and just wanted to see her? I think that's I referring think to Evangeline. Evangeline. Yes, yeah. so I think it is referring to Evangeline, but I'm having a little difficulty there. But anyways, so so as far as Alistair's perspective uh, on the the whole thing, like he originally intended to go back to that time to get Evangeline. That was what was in his head to begin with when he decided that's when they were going to. Um, the the problem was it was more like, um, and I, I don't know how else to really put it. Uh, I guess maybe the, the best thing is, is kind of a little more on what I had said earlier, that uh, in Alistair's mind, like to Alistair, uh, he wouldn't be able to change the past. Like he knew that she didn't disappear exactly at that time. And so whatever he was doing would not make her disappear. He couldn't take her with him. Like, so at least in Alistair's mind, there was nothing he could do to change the past. So he kind of settled for the next best thing and just tried to instill in himself like a, a drive to be able to protect and save her. You created your own madness. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you do what you do. Yeah, you're, you're, right. you created your own obsession. Yes, or that, I, that actually is kind of where I, the player, was thinking when I when I actually chose to do that. Um, was that it was kind of like a, a creating your own obsession kind of thing. And I don't even think you ever told me that. That was just my observation. No, that that was pretty much just you know why I was asking for the narrative like freedom to just kind of deal yeah, no, with you, it. I was going to play yeah. off of whatever you chose to do. <laughs> yeah. So Okay. Now it's time for my question. Uh, uh, I seemed mostly content to go just hang out and have a day off, uh, but did I at least consider going and setting aside money to help hire movers since I never went back or warning uh, the bugbear to stay out of alleys? Hmm. Well, the second, the, the second half is easier. I couldn't have warned them to stay out of the alley because they went in the alley. It always happened. If I had tried to warn them somehow, that would have ended up guiding them right into that alley where they got it. You can't change the past. Um, as uh, as for the movers, they weren't going to move for like over a year after that. Um, so I couldn't really go and say, here, here's some money, um, you know, uh, to help you move in a year and a half. Because they they, they didn't know they were going to be moving, um, probably. You know, they, there's some guy just shows up and wants to give them money so they'll move. Like, what am I trying to kick them out of their apartment or something? It almost sounds like um, some kind of scheme that leads into like a Scooby-Doo episode or something. Yeah. Plus, they were moving the couch up. So they were moving into the apartment. So I wouldn't have known where to find them before that anyway. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, and then for Max's question, uh, it says, why didn't you just have the shuttle take oh, you we back should, to We should alternate then... words. I'm Ooh. joking. I'm joking. Continue. I'm joking. <laughs> why didn't you have the shuttle take you back to Quirrell's and then fly fly it back down with the three of you or just fry Yamno and call it an accident? Um, I can answer the second uh, part. You answer the first part. <laughs> yeah. The first part is it's because, uh, it's because you know, I, I don't know. The, uh, what's my character's name? Victor. Um, Victor. Victor called the Amnol down, you know, and so it doesn't make any sense if he's already down there to fly, to, to fly back to Quirrell's and then fly it, you know, there. And I imagine that he would have to show us how to fly the shuttle. And so it just, you know, also it, Julian was very concerned with getting there as quick as possible. And if he's going to have to be in the shuttle with the animal, it's probably going to take just as long to get up to the, sh up to Quirrell's as it will to get around to the other side of the planet anyway. That's, that's, that's what I would think. Yeah. Um, the second part, or just fry Yamno and call it an accident. That is an evil act. Um, <laughs> and evil acts have their repercussions. Um, yeah. That wouldn't have ended well at all. Um, <laughs> and even if he did actually fry Yamno and not just threaten, um, like, Yamno could have fought back. Uh, Quarrels could have fought back. Like, the mm -hmm. entire ship could have fought back. Um, yeah. Um, murder, murder hobos, yeah. like, should be held accountable. Uh, yeah. for their it, actions it's through a game, revolution you know, and like not pick on them but like i mean if you're gonna just randomly murder people that that's not a good act or a neutral or anything that is that's an evil that's evil yeah you don't want to take on like the special ops guy for the revolution against haster <laughs> yeah you know, like, like, like they can forgive the whole yelky thing because he was possessed by the undead we didn't really have a choice yeah uh, you know um 
they, 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 they can understand we were in a situation. He was possessed, singing a King in Yellow song, draining our magic. We would have died. Everyone would have died. We yeah. had to stop him. We didn't know he wasn't. He'd bring him back at them. Yeah. Uh, right. Just murdering Yamnol and saying, whoopsie daisy. Um, <laughs> plus, Alistair and Victor were both there. Yeah. And so I feel like Victor probably would have, you know, said, calm Julian down. Like, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and I, I know that this isn't really a question, but the statement of having more questions, but thinking most of those will be better for the uh, season morons. I don't know if we're going to actually have a season morons. Instead, we might have a series or a campaign Ooh. morons. Yeah. Mm. I think campaign morons. Yeah. Or we could just go all crazy and we could just have a morons for every episode. Oh, God. We could. That would be terrible. <laughs> we'll stretch horrible. this content out for years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not quite uh, the Walking Dead level where we can just have a, a whole episode of content about our episode of content. But, <laughs> but definitely feel free to ask more questions that you think are more appropriate for the end of the season slash yeah. uh, campaign. Talking morons. Yep. Let's do a talking let's morons. do a moron a talking morons about the microphones. Oh, and morons. yeah, there we go. We have a morons episode for the morons episodes. Yep. Well, yeah. Then, yeah, we'll we'll just go back and re-listen to each morons episode and then <laughs> yeah. comment on our morons episode. Just mm. self indulgence all the way down. Yeah, yep. yeah. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Do we have a comparison before we go? Um. Hmm. That's something Did we else. Do that professional can... wrestlers yet? Oh, like God. professional wrestling characters. I don't characters? know that we have done professional wrestler characters. I've got one. I've got one for Victor. Who's that? He's mankind. Mick Foley. <laughs> oh, where he's yeah. like crazy but lovable. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone likes him, and he wants to do the right thing, but he's just kind of messed up. Yeah, yeah I, I think could, that fits I could, real I could well. See that. Hmm. I only watched wrestling for a minute, so I don't have very many options. I'm trying to think, from. like, who would be a good Good would comparison Yandel be the Mick Foley Alistair. dude's love? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, That's where I got the idea. <laughs> I have the little Mick dude love fun go pop. Oh, nice. I saw it and I was like, hey. You know, kind of like dude love. This man Did, rose you know come. What? I think. Oh, go ahead. Uh, no, 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 no. That's okay. Go ahead. I was thinking uh, <laughs> just because he wears a suit all the time, Vince McMahon. Uh, man rose <laughs> coming out and, and doing this little strut. Vin, Vin, Vince McMahon rose. <laughs> I'm trying to think who Julian would be. I don't know. I think I think in a way, maybe Alistair is maybe uh, Randy Orton. Hmm. I'm not as familiar with Randy Orton, so I will take your word for it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's maybe about the best I've got. I can't, I can't say that I've been the most avid wrestling fan in more recent years. Yeah, me either. But, but like, yeah, me either. Yeah, I, th I think maybe that's it. Maybe. Or, or, or maybe John Cena because of like the invisibility. He can't see there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of one for Julian and Max isn't here. So what? I think I think Julian and and I I only say this because I think that Max would really enjoy this. I feel like he might be Ric Flair. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I think Is that Rick the Flair. second time Ric Flair. I mean, I can I can see I mean, I can see a little bit of the personality too. Yeah. Like for Ric Flair. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when you come out, it, it, Ric Flair is the one that comes out to also Sprock Zarathustra, right? <laughs> like, ba da da, woo, ba, 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 da. <laughs> Maybe, but like, it's been a minute. I feel like if Julian had a theme song, he would want something like that. Yeah, something something <laughs> that's like overly like flashy and pretentious. Hmm. Definitely. I mean, and I feel like a, just a little bit in the personality, like I, I could see that. Just that yeah, that kind yeah. of like egotistical like confident yeah yeah see yeah. i was no, thinking that makes sense alistair sting whenever he didn't talk much and whenever he did talk everybody <laughs> lost their shit <laughs> before or, he joined or, the the nwa wolf pack or or uh kane for that matter or i guess in, nw nw with, with the flames <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. remember when kane couldn't talk at all yeah and it was like part of his thing, and then all of a sudden, oh, I guess the burn damage to his vocal cords is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, he, he, he didn't have any skin damage. He looks fine. Yeah. Just take off his mask if he wants. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Professional wrestling. Professional wrestling. Nobody's it's interesting. Oh, the Rock. 
is the the ooze rock. No, the the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the ooze rock. <laughs> Can you smell what the quip folk is? <laughs> there we go. This is the part where we just sort of peter out the yeah. morons at the end. We, yeah. we just kind of run out of steam because we've been talking for too long. Yeah. And we just don't know what to say anymore. So we just we just don't. We just don't say you it. Know what, you know what we should say? Oh, I know what we should say. All, uh, all Steven, where can we, uh, where, where, where can they find more stuff about the show and oh, stuff? They can go to creativetypo.com um, and find out about all of our shows that we have. We have many shows, um, such as Into the Night Anthology and A Fool's Quest and Dread Tech Incorporated and Sticks Shift Incorporated. He struggled there. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I, I I questioned I questioned if they both said incorporated at they, the they, end. They, 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 they do. do. They do. Well, and one is Ethereal Embrace. One is Dread Tech Inc. And the other one is oh, okay. Is, yeah. uh, but the, I mean, Stick they're both incorporated. incorporated. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they're both corporations. Yes. They are. <laughs> um, did I get them all? Did I get them all? Or did I miss one? Uh, microphones and monsters. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to microphonesandmonsters dot com or mikesandmonsters dot com. Or watchbugsdie.com, but not rowphone.com. Yeah. Because of, unfortunately, that is taken. That one's taken. Someone <laughs> owns that domain. It cost a lot of money to buy that one. I yeah. hope that it's like a fan bought that domain and they're just sitting on it hoping we'll be do something really. Ho- hoping we're desperate enough to buy it from them. <laughs> yeah. So you go to any of those and then you can, you can get to the rest of the creative typo stuff as well. And we've got, we've got a art section on there. Uh, we've got links to everywhere where you can download those, those podcasts. We've got a Patreon, like we mentioned at the top of the show, um, uh, where you can directly support what we're doing, uh, in a money way. Um, we have a discord, uh, server where you can come and chat and hang out. Uh, I've been playing Wordle, um, <laughs> I don't know if that's public or not, though. I, can't I mean, remember. it's it's I mean, public it's, enough. It's if you join public, everything if you're else, verified. you can get to Yeah, it. if you're if you're listening oh. and you lost all access to the channels, we just created a verification process to to eliminate bots and and, yep. and everything, and also to make sure people read the rules of the server yep. and and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, just yep. go click yeah. yes on the rules, and you will. You will get angry. It's in, it's in read PD. first, so you should read yeah. that first. Read first, yeah. yeah. First place you should. And, and then if you want to join us for, for like Wordle and some other similar type games, uh, you would go to the games channel and then there's a thread in the games channel for Wordle. Yeah. And the thread is active enough to where Discord doesn't just get rid, get of, rid of it. Of it. <laughs> sure. Because because people post in it every day. All yep. throughout the day with different All Wordle day. type games like movie, TV show. There was a Dun- I'm Dun- good Leon, at framed. Dungeon Leon. Yeah, I, th- I think the the three that we that are common right now are um, uh, Wordle, uh, fr- like Framed, and uh, what's the other one called? Polygonal. Polygonal. I hate that one. I suck. I suck. I I I'm not good at it. You, I tried you, it like you twice. don't have to do all of them. You can do any that you feel like doing. You can do other mm-hmm. ones that nobody else is doing if you want. Maybe other people will join in. Mm-hmm. I did. I've completely failed today's Wordle. It was hard. I mean, I sometimes like the same it's just like that. Letters. You just you get certain letters, and it just doesn't really help you. I mean, yeah, some, uh, sometimes just, you just you just fall into that trap of like, oh, well, I have these letters, but there's so many words I could still use. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. uh, we did have a huge accomplishment uh, this month. In the middle of this month, we did hit a mm-hmm. one hundred thousand downloads for uh, all of our shows combined. Uh, Woo! In yeah. Creative Typo Entertainment, so. And and if you're That's listening to this, cool. we just had a celebration for it, like just this just this past Saturday. If you're listening to this, just brand new. Mm. So so yeah, hope you joined us for that. <laughs> oh, and um and one other thing is that if you check in the Discord, you can get a link uh, to um uh to the Creative Typo YouTube channel that we oh, have yeah. now. That's oh yeah, because, microphones and um, monsters is going on there soon. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And 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 um and and if you check that out, you can see um the uh world of green the the town of Greenpool, the entire town um uh that um 
the what do we call her? Sarah or Skate C or Skate-Z. whatever she's called. Yeah. Um, Skate C in the server, her name's Sarah. She was uh, in our Christmas, uh, Ghouls Who Save Christmas mm-hmm. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, she created Greenpool in Minecraft. And so you can uh, go and check it out. Uh, Adam, Max, and I joined her for the tour, and I joined her in Minecraft. So you can, uh, you know, just explore the world with me. Um, destroying with Sarah as, as my guide. Um, yeah, it, it's really amazing. Like yeah. a lot mm-hmm. of work and a lot of detail. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not like, it's not like your, you know, 12 year old kid built a town in Minecraft and wanted to show you like she's, she, there is detail like crazy in this thing. It, it, it's intricate. It's got cool secret little things, you know, like little references it, and things mm-hmm. like that all over the place. And so it's it's actually worth uh, watching. And if and if you just like listening to us, which if you've gotten two hours or so into this, you probably do uh, check it out. It's a, it's a whole lot of fun. So there's a link to that in there. And then uh, what what is our YouTube thing? Do we have a link for that yet on the website? Probably not. Uh, no, we're not. We're not like big time on okay. YouTube or anything yet to have a, a name right. link. But uh, the link is on the website all there over we the go. place. So. Yep. So go to the Discord link and join the server and then click that you agree to the rules and then go into the Microphones and Monsters chat and find the link to the video and then you can watch it. Or the website, creativetypo.com, YouTube links. There Whatever. Too, yeah. Either way. <laughs> I mean, either way we don't good. have to join the Discord. We'd just really like it if you did. Yeah, yeah, we would. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just saying it might be buried so yeah. with other chat. That's also true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you can go back and read the chat. It's super funny <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Or it's just us talking, whatever. <laughs> it's usually about the show in there. It's mm-hmm. usually about the show. It's usually about the show, at least in that channel. Yeah, you have to have the spoiler tag to get it. So. Yeah, yeah, because if you're in there, then then you, you risk spoilers for anything current. Yeah. Although even still, we do try to like spoiler tag stuff. Yeah, we still spoil it. Just, it. Everybody yeah. does. Everybody's courteous, mm-hmm. so yeah. it works. Yeah. Just just because you're you're in spoilers like doesn't necessarily mean you're fully up to date. So mm-hmm. everybody tries to be good about spoiler tags. Yeah, and I think that's it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, th- th- that was all we needed to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so all music. Uh, so the intro and the outro uh, um, was written and produced by Marco Mazzi, Fallen Highway Studios. Um, and uh, normally we do a lot more talking while the music plays all soft and pretty yeah, behind yeah. us. And and I mean we can do some more talking still. I mean they, I mean we're doing what more we talking about right before now. is going to be playing if we finish soon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's playing know, right now. I mean the music is probably right playing right now. Yes. Let's stop and listen to it for a second. It's good music. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And it just relaxes you every time our show is over. Yeah. Show is I, so made, I made such I mean, a great time. choice of music. Really? I mean, it's just so good. Have that little bit of de-stress, like, after a stressful mm-hmm. episode. Although, I guess in, yeah. in this particular case, it's not too stressful to listen to us be morons. Yeah. Probably not. No. Anyways, that's it. That's, that's all we got. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's all we got for today. <laughs> but, Thank but you so much for listening. Thanks for listening. All have a wonderful rest of your day and week. I guess a good beginning of your week. When does this episode go out? Get well uh, after the last episode of the month. Um, on Which Friday, the last episode of the month would be it's yeah, the thirtieth. This, this yeah. next Friday, so it's a weekend. Yeah, it's on a weekend. Friday. Have a great weekend if you're listening at the yes. time. Yes, and have a great whatever day or year or whatever or um, month otherwise. or any any time. Like just have a good time following yeah. listening to this episode. Yeah, if you're listening unless, to it in the unless past, you didn't. Wow. Unless this like this episode was like the last straw and you don't want to listen anymore, yeah. like then I don't want you to have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, get ready for the the last month. Uh, you got eight more episodes after this episode, uh, and then and then that's it. That's it. And then you're, and you're then, almost there. Yeah. And, then, and and then you get to listen to all of the cool stuff that we did. And then a campaign morons. We might do it. I don't know what we'll do. We'll do something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I we're, we're probably we, still going to have we a... Do, we're not committing to anything yet. I don't October know. October morons and season four morons and then campaign morons. That's I mean, what three I morons? Do. Wow. That's, I wanted, that's what I want to do. Let's milk this shit. Maybe. We probably don't want to record those back to back, though. <laughs> let's, All right. Let's, well, we'll see what okay. happens. Let's milk we'll see the fuck out of everybody, it, guys. All right. <laughs> Go. <laughs> have a great time. Yep. Go. Bye, everybody. I don't know why I'm waving, but I am. Yeah, we are waving. Go. Bye. All right. Yeah, bye. Thank you.